Hey guys, this is the video that I promised in one of my last videos. I'm going to show you an overview of the Dig handheld, which is made by Leapster. This is a learning game system for little kids. So I'm going to start out by showing the outside and all the buttons. So on the front you see there are two buttons, pause and the home key. The home key takes you back to the main menu. The pause button pauses the game. On this side you have the A and B buttons. And the question mark is a help button. When you press it, um, you get info on like what the controls are in a game. On the top of the device you have the right trigger and the left trigger. You also have a USB port and right here you have the game cartridge slots. On the right side you have the power button, the volume button, on the left side you have the brightness, on the bottom you have a slot to put in a head strap or a wrist strap. Right here is a headphone port. This is a speaker. Right here is the AC power adapter plug. On the back you have the two battery compartments on each side. So let's power this on and see what the main menu and one of the games looks like. Here's my power cord. And the power on. As you can see it has the same type of warning as on Nintendo DS systems. Okay, at this menu, I have to adjust the camera. Okay. Okay, at this menu, you have a choice to select your name, and obviously that's my name right there, or you can have a guest. And it appears you could have up to three names for each device. So I'm going to select my name. And here is the main menu. And my dig refers to like a customized character that you could dress up on the website. So this is basically kind of like the equivalent to having a me character or on the 360 like an avatar or a PS3. This uh, setting is for any pre-installed games or you can adjust the settings. Right here, the highest is grade 8, so that's what I put. My screens refers to, you could select a different color, change the contrast, or reset the settings. Changing the color just changes like the theme of the main menu. So you can have it look like this. 
B button is to go back. My stuff is This is basically like where you could download like download content for games and in this particular system it's called micro mods which I don't have anything right now. The last main menu option is my games. And here you either launch the game cartridge from this menu. Obviously there's nothing inserted. Or you could run the game that's pre-installed. So I'm going to show this game for you. So here's the main menu of the game. You have Start, Micro Mods, which again is um, extra download content, Extras, and then this is the main, you can go back to the main menu. Extras, you can change the controls. Uh, manager of badges and bits refers to points. High score, music on off. B button goes back. Let's start game. You choose your hero. Default. So the B button attacks, the A button is your jetpack, so you can move around, okay. and then the direction button is move your character. Basically you just move around the levels collecting these little diamond things while killing enemies. And this is where the learning begins. You go on this platform and it gives you a math problem right there. So 72 divided by 9, you use the directional button to cycle through the answers, and then press the B button. <laughs> so I got that right, and you can move on. As you can see, the game kind of moves very slow but it's not as bad as you would think. It just moves very slow.
So the top bar is your health. And then your score is on the top. Right. It's kind of weird how the bullets go through walls too. The pause button and pauses the game. This button goes back to the menu. You can quit. You can continue quit the menu or the controls. It takes a really long time to load this game and exit exit to the menu. My game, my ditch. So that's basically what this looks like. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.